It seems there is a new cool way in NPM Solver that can add secondary simulation without adding more point and wait until the world end. So this is a new cool way and we're gonna see it in this video. Hi everyone, this is Dyson. Welcome back to this first look to Houdini 21 series. I hope you enjoy it guys, really. So in this one, we're gonna add secondary simulation to our NPM solver. We'll talk about that in previous tutorial, so check that out. So we have this simulation, as you can see, this is simple simulation. I wanna simplify the idea. So let me explain to you by adding this new NPM debris source. What is that? This is an amazing node. It can detect where is the simulation fracturing. You see, it will create new source. You see that? And this is very cool node and we're going to merge it. And I want to show you what is look like. You see, I want to give it a color. Yeah, to make it more obvious, maybe the blue one. You see, we have this source when this impact. So we have this velocity. I want to disable it. I don't want to... Uh, create pop not a pop network. I want to create another npm solver. So we have the source you see That's very cool And of course you can add more uh, Resolution to it or we can help this node to make better calculation by Connecting npm surface to second input you see in second input it can take npm surface and vel velocity field what is npm surface this is a cool new node for post processing it will create a mesh from your result from npm result you see it can take or create this neural network uh, mesh and as you can see this is a new new method for a meshing particle using machine learning and when i connect that you see we have better calculation this is with and without you see and you can adjust of course this slider you see if i delete that it will disable it will be disabled so consider that as a second option and of course i want to change it to this because neural network it's very slow for now so we have something like that but let me disconnect it i want to use this node later on just i wanted to show you there is a, such an option so now let's create another npm uh, solver and I want to delete this unnecessary node for example I don't want any collider and I don't want any container because I want to use the first one the first container and now this is for that and this is our npm uh, source right if I connect it to this npm uh, debris source you see we don't have anything you see if i change that to continue or every frame we don't have anything why because we need to create a vdb from particle you see that's the only way i find out you can feed your npm source you see this is the particle vdb from particle and now if i do that as it continues you see we have our source that's very cool this is the only way guys if you have any uh, other way just leave me in the comment section so now if i merge these two together and have a flip book um boom you see we have something like that but no interaction no colliding why is that because we need to create npm collider node here this is very straightforward where are you okay this is oh boy yeah this is our npm collider and this is the container and that's why i kept this npm surface you see that will give us a mesh for colliding you see this is the collider but we need to change it as a deform or animated what deform yeah this is deform object not animated object and now yeah let's see so let's 
reset and have another flip book and boom you see that's better now everything is working but so crazy now you can of course uh, change the npm source material to chunk or concrete or anything and you will see different result and this is the way you can add more and more simulation aka secondary simulation for your npm solver so with that i hope you enjoyed this one stay subscribed and ring bell button for the next video see ya